Hello YouTube. Um, welcome to another Java tutorial. This time I'm going to teach you how to use the import, um, the scanner, and a random number generator. Okay, first um, make a Java file. I'm calling mine in. Call it whatever you want. Uh, declare domain. Alright, now we need to import what we want to use. So in this example, we're going to use the scanner and the random. Alright, to import something, you type in import and then where it's uh, located. In this case, scanner is located in java.util.scanner. So next, we want to import java.util.random. Alright, so now we have access to these two classes. Um, for just for educational purposes, you can put an asterisk here, and it'll import everything in the util, uh, the java.util. But if you're only making one or two imports, or even like three, it wouldn't be wise to use it as it imports unnecessary things. Okay, so uncomment this. All right. So now that we imported it, we need to create an object. First, the scanner. I'm going to call, my, call mine scan. You call it yours, whatever you want. You scan it. Uh, we have to type system.in in the parentheses. Okay, now we need to make the random uh, object. Random. I'm going to call mine rar. Equal new random. Nothing in parentheses. Alright, now we have the two objects. And we could build something. Okay, um, let's just make a prompt for a user. Enter a number. Alright, with the scanner, you could collect information from the user. For example, a number. Int num equals scan. Notice dot next int. For instance, notice int int. Alright. So let's see if all right, compile successfully. All right, um, so notice all that happens is it says enter number and gives us the option to enter number. Nothing else happens after. So now let's add some functional ILD. So now we could, we're gonna make it say, all right. One sec. Okay. Notice it says enter number. The system that out to print enter number. Then it asks the user to enter something which is stored in the int num. Then we do system that out print. That says you entered and plus num. All right. So now let's do the random. Um, all right, so we're going to say, uh, let's just generate a random number, actually. Generate a random number, we need to do int uh, num, uh, num1, oh, you could call yours anything you want, equals, um, no, wait, equals rar dot next int, uh, notice, rar, rar, again, int, um actually in the a random generator you actually could choose how high the number generator could be all right let me show you an example so right now let's output the generate number so oh sorry wait No, I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, sorry. All right. Random number is negative whatever. So to make it a number from uh, zero through ten, we would have to do random ten. 
if you want to make it 1 through 10, you have to uh, do this. Thing is, Java starts from 0, so when you say 10, it goes 0 through 9, which is 10 numbers. If you want to make it start from 1, you have to add plus 1. Um, let me just double check if I'm doing this right. Yeah, I guess I am. Um, hold on, let me just do a little test. Let's see if I'm doing all right. Hmm. I guess I am. Whatever. So, um, if I'm doing it wrong, it's, I can't recall if you put this inside the parentheses or outside. Let's see what happens when you put it inside. No, if you put it outside, I'm pretty certain. All right, I'm sorry for that you know, little, little mix-up. If you put it inside, it will just generate a number up to 11, um, being 0 through 10, basically. Whatever, I'm sorry. Okay, basically, now we understand how a random number generator works. I'm just going to walk you through one more time. These are the imports. You need them. Um, Let's see what happens when we remove an import. Well... Sorry, you can't see this. Hold on. Okay. We get all these errors. Like, let's see, class random, can't find symbol. Alright, blah, blah, blah. Alright, sorry. Let me just fix this now. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know. Alright. Um, oh, whoops. Sorry. All right, we're back on track. So now let's uncomment this. All right. Now, you have to import, so it has access to the class random. We have to create an object. Um, you can name it whatever you want. We could call this Bob if we want. And we have to change this to Bob. The program still works. Okay, I just prefer it called scan. Again, same concept with this, call Bob if you want. See, same concept. Okay. After we create the object, we're going to prompt the user to enter number with system.out. We're going to store that number in the int num right here. Then we're going to display whatever the user entered right here. Next, we're going to generate a number over here, and it's going to be stored in int num1. This is what's generating it. We're saying random.next integer generate from 0, I mean 1 through 10. 1 through 10. <clears throat> Alright, so then it prints out whatever the random number is. Each time it's going to be different, like let me just run a few instances of it. Um, okay. Okay, I don't know why, why it's following what I'm writing actually. Ironic. Hold on. It's not supposed to play. Just random. Sorry. That was actually really strange. Okay. See? Complete random. Alright, now you understand how this works. You could play around with it a bit. Um, before I leave, I want to show you one last thing. Um, if you want to do this, the double, we would, we could do it. Oh, my bad, hold on, sorry. This would become a double. We could do it. You would have to change this to next double. But it's completely doable if you prefer using double. Let me just copy and paste in case I typed wrong. Oh, sorry, this has to be uppercase. Um, yeah, apparently random can only, uh, can only be implied to int, so I guess I was wrong there. Um, so yeah, you're going to have to use int here. 
but I'm pretty sure for scanner you can use double. I'm like a hundred percent sure on this one. Let's hope I'm not wrong again. And no, I'm not. So now you could enter 5.0, for example. Um, or, you know, understand what I mean? But before, if you used int and you entered, let's do 5.0, it will give you an error. Hence, why you need double sometimes. You could also, I'm not sure if you use float. Let's double check together. Yes, you can. Yeah, you can use float or double or int. Uh, you can use basically anything with um, scanner. You can use string, char. Um, let's just learn about strings right now before we leave. It'll be better to learn now than make another tutorial later. So pretend we wanted the user to enter a letter. Like, um, Bob. See, it will give us an error. So, um, enter a word. So we don't we would ha create a new value, um, a new string. We'll call it num just you know to make things easier. And we'll do scan dot next line. Okay. You could also do next, but look what happens. Oh my bad. Alright, when you do next, It only takes the first word and dumps whatever after it. But if you do next line, <clears throat> it takes everything. So it's better to use next line and save yourself the hassle. Unless, you know, you're creating a program that asks for the first name and someone enters the first and last, they'll take only the first time. So that would be like a helpful feature. But I hope you understand. Um, uh, string, that's basically how you use it. In string, if you enter a number, it'll accept it. It's just it went in a string. Basically, you can't do num minus one. Hold on. Sorry. Basically, you can't do something like this because it's not allowed. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Ah, okay. It's not allowed, cannot be operator lines, cannot be applied to java.lang.string. It needs to be applied to an int. So basically, that's why you shouldn't really store numbers and strings. You can and do something called parsing and turn it into an int. But I'm not going to discuss this, that now. I'll create another tutorial on it, maybe. But um, again, you shouldn't use strings to uh, store numbers. You can, but it's not wise. Let me just show you. You could type like blah, 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 three. It would completely be fine. You could type whatever you want in the string, but the whole functionality of it is kind of different from an int. Same kind of with uh, floats and doubles, kind of different from an int. So basically, stick with what you know and then start, you know, changing it up and see if you learn something new. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. I'm sorry if I'm being vague or anything. It's pretty late and I'm tired. Um, well, if you need help, message me, leave a comment below, or whatever the heck you want to do, and I'll be sure to get back at uh, back to you. Thanks for watching the video. And see you later.